as you guys know, there was an Olympic-sized kerfuffle going on in the women's boxing in the Olympics. And some of the people that spoke out about this are both Elon Musk and J.K. Rowling. And now both of them are being sued and called cyberbullies. I didn't even know you could sue someone for cyberbullying. Who would sue Elon Musk? Seriously, That's right? a joke in Who and wouldn't? of itself. Yeah. So this is what it says. Algerian boxer Amin Khalif, who is alleged to have male XY chromosomes and who competed against women to win gold at the Paris Olympics, has filed a criminal complaint to French authorities claiming that author J.K. Rowling and tech billionaire Elon Musk participated in a campaign of cyber harassment. It's funny because this comes at the same time where we were told by UK authorities that they That's are going nuts. to extradite us if we say something negative about the British government. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it almost makes me want to make a boomer meme like laughs in 1776 or something like that. I can't believe people are okay with this stuff. Oh, yeah. Dude, it's like, crazy. Like, if you actually go and talk to the general public, mm -hmm. the, the thing is, though, is, like, we think it's crazy because we talk about this stuff on a regular basis. If you were to ask the everyday person who doesn't think about things like whether free speech is necessary or how important it is, doesn't really understand the importance of things like the Constitution, they don't really think of it that way. Mm -hmm. They're like, well, you shouldn't be able to, you know, what if you're saying something mean? Right. Like that is actually a position that yeah. adults who think that they're rational take, not understanding the levels in which government will go to abuse right. such a thing. The and, fault and, setting, as yeah. you say, yeah. like well, I mean, if you got nothing to hide, yeah. what are you worried about? No, you, Almost, you think yeah. that wouldn't work, but that's exactly what people said post 9-11, right? It was like, oh, well, why do you care if the NSA is listening? You're not doing anything <laughs> wrong, are well, yeah, you? Yeah, because we're never taught how nuanced it is, and it's not a coincidence most people go to public schools yeah. that are funded by the government, mm -hmm. so it kind of makes sense. The, I mean, it's full the, circle. It's definitely um, interesting with the internet and social media uh, on you know this free speech issue it's just kind of a new realm that we're still getting used to but I think we do a really good at least America we do a really good job as a society in policing ourselves right if you go to the mall or the movie theater and you just start shouting f-bombs at the top of your lungs your peers the people in your community will shut you down right you're not or gonna get, get like 50, you're not gonna 100. get arrested but you're gonna get People are going to tell you to stop. You're going to get dirty looks, right? You're going to be rejected by that community. The so internet we, is different, though. Exactly. It's, it's a very We got a $20 super chat here from Pop Culture Junkie. It says, Brett, my error. Do you know anyone who is streaming Continuum? No, I don't. Uh, the, uh -huh. Honestly, the best thing you can do for something like that, for shows that are kind of, they live in this weird middle ground where they're never on any streaming services, and a lot of the great Canadian shows from that time period are, is you just gotta buy them. You gotta either buy the physical media, or if you don't wanna do that, you can buy them on Amazon Prime. You can use other methods, but I'm not allowed to Dude, you know, a, approve of them. I'm recently learning the importance of buying physical copies. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Because uh, most of the consoles that I have, uh, I, I just get the digital version where I download the game, mm -hmm. but then it's like, okay, server's down. And then all the games that yep. you owned, if they were in your console, you just lost them forever. It's like, yeah. oh, well, that's, I just lost like five. Yeah, we've yep. slowly been losing ownership of like all of our stuff. Because yeah. you still pay for it. Or you're, you you're have paying to be just as much. Well, you're renting it, basically. Because they can, they, they can lose the license for that product. Well, that's what it is. It's gone. To verify the license, to verify that you own this game, you have to have an internet connection. So like, if the internet goes out, <laughs> there's some games that you're not able to play. Mm -hmm. And it's so dumb. It's like, I paid for this, but... Sucks. Too yep. bad. Yep. So just uh, look for that show. Like, there's a lot of those shows uh, from Canada that came out in like the early 2010s mm. that I really, really the enjoyed. The 100. Uh, no, because that's so on good. Netflix. That's that was a big show. That was a CW show. There was other shows that were they never broadcast past Showcase, which was a network in Canada. Oh, interesting. Um, you're just not going to find them on American streaming services, so you might have to go buy them. But anyway, so back to what you're saying. Yes, the internet is very different than what is going on in the real world. Somebody might police you uh, if you're saying something stupid in the real world in a way that you see that you deem acceptable. But on the internet, everybody's got a different idea of what is you know what is in fact acceptable and it usually devolves into a bunch of people who want to be authoritarian over one another i, I so what specific posts are, are okay they... so i pulled up, i couldn't find them I, I pulled up the jk rowling ones that at least mentioned by name right so the jk rowling one says media outlets might relish the surge of clicks they gain by distorting biological realities however these lies have serious consequences it is not an exaggeration an exaggeration to fear that such distortions may soon get someone killed 
This was an article called Factor Fiction. Olympic boxer Amin Khalif is male and should not be allowed to fight. That's what the article says. What, so. the, what this lawsuit is, is is shutting down the conversation. And when you yep. don't allow people to have the conversation, yep. that's how you lose support for your cause. Yep. I mean, like, let it, it, let's say, I mean, I don't know a good example, but let's say Elon Musk was wrong about everything he posted here. Let him be wrong and everyone can see him that's being the whole wrong. Point, right? Right. Uh, that's what they're talking about right now. There was the thing that came out the other day when they that crazy reporter asked the press secretary, you know, the Elon Musk might be doing a lot of misinformation over there during <laughs> yeah. that Twitter space and then wanted them to shut it down. And this is uh, from the guy who believes that uh, supposedly democracy dies Journalist. in darkness. Yeah. Journalists, right? Ma mommy, people can say me things. The, while you're uh, How can you stop them? I'm pretty sure Thanks. the United Auto Workers are suing uh, Elon over the, the Trump interview as well. Why? Because Trump made some comment about if oh, yeah, employees yeah. go on strike, just fire them. And I'm like, uh, like that's what you guys are so upset about? Like it, well, Everyone it, wants dude. to, they will take their moment to grab cash. Every it's not a moral issue. Like, mm -hmm. let's be real. I'm sure some people do see it that way. And the message that's sent is that. So it is important and it has a ripple effect. But I have a feeling that they're more motivated by their pockets. So it's true, Queen. It upsets it's me because everyone's just crying over spilled milk. And so when there's actually something to be upset about, I don't I don't care. Your words mean nothing to me anymore. Mm -hmm. By the way, do we know if they, them, what actually they, they use? Um, was it confirmed that she was a man? We'll never it's know. Such, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a very interesting... <laughs> it's a very interesting situation from what I've read. Like, it's very complex and... Well, that's the thing. Like, so um, initially the, the discussion broke down because it's not as simplistic. I mean, a lot of people were even saying that the that they were trans. Right. And that wasn't accurate. That wasn't true. Again, you have the... It is your right to be wrong. Right. You, mm -hmm. you have every right in the world to say something and be wrong. And the whole thing is that the public should then tell you you're wrong. And then you learn from it, right? Like one of the things that I, opinion. Yeah, yeah, right. So it goes on. So it says the lawsuit was filed against X, which is under French law, means that it was filed against unknown persons. That ensures that the prosecution has all the latitude to be able to investigate against all people, including those who may have written hateful messages under pseudonyms. Again, oh who God, decides man. what is hateful? <laughs> who decides? You know, that term right away, like the, when hate speech laws first started being talked about, anyone with half a brain understood that the subjectivity to such a thing was going to lead to horrible things and horrible censorship. Would it, I, I just have trouble wrapping my head around how France expects this to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Like, does, I, I assume Elon probably has some kind of assets mm -hmm. in France, but he's an American citizen. Like his businesses are based out of America for the most part. Yep. So, like, I don't know how this is going to play out. You see you people are getting a little uppity lately, eh? They're, cause they're all, I don't know. They're like, well, if you talk mean about Britain, well, we'll yeah, go right? get you. They're going to be very mad if Shut you say up. anything mean. Oh, no, and here's the thing. The people British were, were the cowards that stayed. People were laughing about that, about the fact that the UK said, we will extradite you for saying mean things on the internet. We live in a time right now where we have an administration that would probably be willing to do that. Maybe. Right? That's scary. Like this, we don't live. So in, true, Ken. Like, do you really believe <laughs> that anybody from the current administration is going to stand up for your right to free speech? They don't even believe in free speech. True. But they true helped that. out Brittany Griner, right? <laughs> They they saved her. Oh, that was that was crazy. Us, did you right? did you see? Yeah, uh, <laughs> did you see that uh, Brittany Griner like stood up and cried during the yep. medal ceremony? You don't. I, mm -hmm. Only with a couple of months. In and a I was Russian just prison gonna role. say, people don't realize how good we have it. That our biggest problems mm -hmm. right now is a boxer suing Elon Musk because he said bad words. He said things that hurt his feelings. Yeah, like her feelings. And and then. Uh, yeah, he or she, I'm not sure, but the idea uh, of hate. And then the UK, they're yeah. just like, oh, you said a thing that I don't like. Like that's the, if that's the biggest problems that we're facing right now. I mean, I mean things how are dare they good. say that to America? Because it's like I can't speak for myself, but most people that live here, they're the descendants of American immigrants that came or of, of British immigrants that came from Britain to escape mm. that kind of persecution. So honestly, that well, kind of is like remember, it's a little sassy for the me. The ones in England are the ones that didn't come. Yes, right, 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 right. Yeah, they, they were the cowards that scared a little water. <laughs> they, <laughs> oh, I can't get out of the boat. water. The the idea of 
the term hateful being used is as subjective as it gets, right? Right. Uh, me, the things me and Dane say to each other in jest would make a lot of people <laughs> yes. very, very upset. All, the, the one of I'm going to report you in the yes. UK. One of the most eye-opening <laughs> things uh, that happened to me was I came here and all of the employees are from like the West Coast. I think all the people from the East Coast are super mean. And I'm like, no, we're just like edgy. We don't like... Well, we don't like, beat around the bush. You you know, we'll we'll call York. you names. But in the West Coast, it's like very fake. When you, know? you go to New York for the first time and you realize how forward yeah. people are. And yeah. How, you know. Yeah. And people think you're being mean. I'm like, no, 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 no. That's just how we are. Yeah. It's like you go to meet somebody in California. Like, oh, how do you do? What's your name? And you meet somebody from New York. Who is this? Right. Or it's like <laughs> if you it's have, not meant in a negative way. Like, that's just their demeanor. In New yeah. York, like someone be like, oh, Dane, <laughs> what the heck are you wearing on your feet, man? Those look terrible. And then in California, they'll my be like, my wife got me these. And they'll be like, uh, actually, I hear those are really comfortable. But they are. in California, they'd be like, oh, those are so cool, even if they hate them. You know, which is arguably way As the representative of California, it's true. E- ease up, ease up a little bit. It's, <laughs> it's maybe in LA. In, in LA, for sure, there's that mean girl, like, oh my God, I love your skirt. Just so she'll keep wearing it again because it's the most hideous skirt That's just the she's ever seen. One of the most universal truths is that women will love to just give their friends bad yeah. advice so that they look Someone better. said that's, uh, yeah. I, I read an interesting like thread on like, they said that's why OnlyFans is so popular because when it's really just like a, gigantic game of women trying to like uh, shut down <laughs> other women Whoa. and so it's like they're like convincing them to you know get on OnlyFans and just to so they you know rise to the top this, uh, there was this thread of this uh, this girl who made this video about her like getting married to her boyfriend who was in jail Aww. and the whole thread was just women going like yeah if you're if it's true love do it and I'm just like all of these women know that marrying a dude who's going to be in jail for 10 years is a bad idea yeah. But they're telling you this because they don't want to see you happy. Or they're so deluded that they don't understand that what you're doing. Well, is I think that there's a female drive to be liked. Um, it's like true from infancy. When you're born, girls make more eye contact than boys, which is why I also think that women's decision making should be questioned sometimes because we cannot help but be driven by that motivation. We have to be liked because we can't really offer anything else, right? Like we can't build a house, we can't like you know. I mean, like we could. don't hunt, we yeah. don't gather, so we offer pleasantry, and we have to be like to be part of the tribe. You it's know, a very like reptilian brain consensus building, and that's why things will get worse as more and more women take over government. Consensus that's, building. That's, well, that's funny. That's why we have DEI right now. That's, that's funny same. because a, a seldom spoken about red flag is what when you're trying to date anyone, and I, I've had this happen to me a couple of times, and they're like, "I need you to meet X," and it's very critical for me if. X likes you or whatever, be a friend or and yada yada. Mm-hmm. By the way, I usually pass, not always, but then it's like, if my b- buddies were like my wife, who cares? I, 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 I wouldn't even get so well. You, you don't marry her then. I'm like, all right, man. Just, just don't come over to the house. Like, yeah, I don't know what, what to tell you. <laughs> and I've never even had that issue of, of like some guys be like, you know what? We went Maria, and we don't like like. No, no. The the like, worst the that I've ever gotten it was just like, hey, like. If I'm asking you to hang out, that's not an invitation to your girlfriend too. Oh, like, I've seen that yeah. before, and like, yeah, and, that's but that's funny. usually where it starts for men, and that's where it ends. It's like, yeah. hey, just like, like I want to hang out with you. Yeah. I don't want to hang out with the couple. Oh my mm-hmm. god! Right? I did not advocate for being a third wheel today. Oh. Right. That's true. Yeah. Um, but look, hey, every uh, every tricycle. Here, uh, <laughs> here's here's the long and the short of it. Elon Musk has a lot of money and J.K. Rowling has a lot of money. You or I probably don't have the money to fight the type of lawsuit that could come down for something like this, I which can. is why I'm you loaded. should be scared of this type of authoritarian behavior creeping into the system, especially as more and more of our communication happens digitally. You know, it's one thing to make a joke about someone in the real world where then they would have to prove that you said it. And then, of course, go to court like this. But this case could have long standing repercussions for anyone who just wants to be able to say something on the Internet and have the ability to say it and be wrong. Well, we've lost the whole like, hey, just shut your computer. Just close yeah. close the laptop. Like no one yeah, even talks about that anymore. Well, no, okay, now it's so expected. Like, what, what happened was what I thought was really interesting was when um, Kyle Rittenhouse made his comments about uh, voting for Ron Paul, 
um, people were like, I'm canceling my engage my, my uh, speech that I was going to give at some event that you were going to host or something, right? So it's not like he can just close it and be done with it. He now has to worry about how those words will affect business dealings that he's had that's online. so stupid. So. Yeah, and, and, and that's like... Use that as an example when people say cancel culture is only on the left yeah. or cancel oh, no. culture oh, is no. not real. Uh -huh. I'm like, nah, man. It, it, it's everywhere. I think it's mm -hmm. a symptom of the internet. Uh, and collectivism as a whole. Yeah. Communism. And, and people forgetting like you really have no control over someone else's actions or thoughts or beliefs. And even if you get them to apologize, they don't. They haven't actually changed their opinion. They're just apologizing because you got mad. Yeah. Most of the time. Um, That's true. I do think it's interesting, yeah. though, because like in the article, it makes it seem like they're suing Elon and J.K. No, they're suing X. Okay, so, right. Yeah. Okay, so I just wanted to clarify that. So they're suing says, X. J.K. Rowling and Elon Musk are named in the lawsuit, amongst others, uh, adding that Donald Trump would be part of the investigation. Trump tweeted, so whether or not he is named in our lawsuit, he will inevitably be booked, be looked into as part of the prosecution. But he didn't tweet about it. He probably truthed about it. I don't, I don't think, think he'd come back to Twitter. Oh, yeah, I don't think right. he'd come he back to yet. Twitter yet at that point. I don't think this, I mean, like, this is what's interesting because it's France, you know, yeah. that's suing the United States, basically. But, you know, was it section, what is it, 213 is the, the uh, protection? So if Elon Musk posts something, you can't sue X, even though he owns it, says, right? Like, that's what that law is. Like, you love it or hate it. What, what we're asking is that the prosecution investigates not only these people, but whoever it feels necessary, if the case goes to court, they will stay, uh, and if the case goes to court, they will stand trial, adding that the lawsuit Sorry, could target personalities overseas. You will then be jailed for being a cyber bully. Listen, you won't stop me from making fun of Canadians. You cannot. <laughs> Prospects. There is a lot no, of them. There is no law. I don't know. Canada right That's now, so funny. I, it, Canada's on my list a little bit higher than the UK. I Just saw, a little bit. I saw somebody who was at like a little pump was like, if Donald Trump loses, I'm moving to Canada. I'm like, that's worse. <laughs> Why would you know. leave here? That's, that's horrible. No, little pump. No. No. Don't do it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.